What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is your boy Falco and today we are going to be showing you guys how to build your Uday because I know a lot of you guys are probably building up your Uday trying to get them to, you know, R6 and trying to make sure that she is perfect because she has a very, very cool ability when she gets to R6 that makes her very unique from a lot of other shimmers out there other than 5 star shimmers so I know you guys want to know how to build her properly so i'm going to be showing you guys that today um, we've been doing a lot of work on both the pay to win account and also the light spender account um we've basically run out of freaking stamina and i think that's what they're trying to do um trying to make everyone run out of stamina before anniversary but don't worry i took the bait like, hook line and sinker i took that shit like it was a like it was some cheese i took it i'm sorry it happened that's that, that it, it is what it is i took the bait sorry my camera's like blurry and shit but yeah i took the bait and I'm sure you did too, because it was hype. And this is probably the best event um, or update that, you know, this light or Lilith has put out on this game so far. And I hope they keep doing stuff like this. Like Lilith, if you guys watch my videos, keep doing shit like this. And you're gonna go far. You're gonna, you're gonna go real far. I promise you, I promise you. Treat us right. Um, but if this was so good, I can't wait to see what anniversary is like. Because, sheesh, uh, Athena is 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 b b broken. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to get too much into the light spender account today. I'm going to be focusing more on showing you guys how to build your Uday's. Um, but I'm, I just wanted to give you guys a little preview because I have like eight videos in the pipeline for the freaking light spender account, which I hope you guys are enjoying that series. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, but yeah, if you like these videos, don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Um, we in it. We going to the top. We're not going to stop, but let's get this shit. Boy, I'm a legend, but spy on my presence. Don't touch me. I'm ready. My drip like Hokage. See, you and I, we both had nothing in common. I'm more like a cashier. I do shit to bro. Let's go. Let's go. Just you know, be friend of unknown. Said I got to show that I'm winning. I got cuts. So not to have force. I kill them. We all cut thoughts. Had to put the work in. Show them what the work All right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Firstly, let's let's see. I had like 90 or so freaking stamina supplies. Right now, I got none. I had like 3,000 freaking memo chips on this account. Right now, I got like 15, um, but we've kind of gotten far on this event. I'm just, I'm just giving you guys a, a, a rundown on the, this is the pay to win account, um, as you guys can see, because it's level 100, obviously. But um, yeah, I'm just giving you a rundown on what we got so far. So far, we have a four star um, Sopdet or Ude, and we finished a good portion of everything. We're still very far away from getting the six star one. It's probably gonna take us about two or three more days. Probably three more days. I say three or four. Actually, I'm I keep going up. It's probably gonna take like three or four days to get the six star one, and then by that time, at least we'll be able to have the what's it called, the other Esper that we haven't used yet because you can't get her. No one has her. No one has Camille yet because you literally can't because you need to do three days of doing this freaking daily activeness. So the only we're only gonna be able to get this in like two more days because. For one, it takes two days for us to get back the Cube Miracle. So, no one's gonna have her for another two days, which sucks. Why well, put that the first thing? That's the only thing I only gripe I have with you guys, Lil. Don't do that. Don't gate gatekeep stuff like that. That's, 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 that's horrible. Don't time gate stuff. That's a shame. Shame. Only uh, That's the only thing. But, let's get into this. Let's get into our sob dead. I'm gonna show you guys how to build it real quick. Um, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. Where are you, Sob Dad? Dang, I have so many freaking aspers. It's like, come on, he's all the way back here with the R6 Parmy, as you see. But, um, yeah, she's a four, she has R6 or R4 now, which is pretty good. I'll, I'll go into that real quick. The resonances, um, because she has with R4 at least, she gains basically when granting a shield, her shield strength is 30% stronger and. At R2, she also, or not R2, it's R1 actually. R1, her, her final shield strength is 10%. So that's like an extra 40% strength onto her shield on top of it being giving 100% of the person's HP as a shield, which is crazy. Um, but what we're really going for is R6. And I know that's what you guys are going for, which basically lets her R2, her S2, uh, or skill 2, reset all ability cooldowns of the target. Um, which is basically the same as or very similar to the uh, the skill 2 of Fing Nushi Except Fing Nushi is a little better because it freaking also grants speed up. It's just better But obviously she's a five-star unit um, But yeah, this is a, a close second 
close second and i like her she's dope but i'm gonna show you guys how to build it let's get into this um the way i want you guys to build her or i think you guys should build her is with ocean waves and light i personally use light because if you're going to use her in any like like pvp or anything you kind of don't want her to be controlled unless I mean, the only way she's going to be able to be controlled is if there's a tricky going first or something like that you want her to be able to kind of get off of her get off her buffs and get off all of her things that may help like such as her absorb and her shields and stuff you don't want her to be controlled at the beginning because you want to be able to make sure that she can pop off her attack up and stuff like that to be able to make sure everyone can do their damage or to make sure she can dispel because she's a dispeller also so if anyone else gets controlled <clears throat> she can dispel everything so i would personally put immunity on her for the other two you could put hp to make sure she's even stronger hp wise if you want um but i personally think she works really well and it's probably one of the more ones that work really well like kind of like being new she you would put way basically light on her for that personally that's how it works for me that works for me because like i said she removes two debuffs from your characters she's basically a pseudo i don't know what you want to call her jin yu yao something like that and when she gets to r6 she's gonna be even crazier because you're gonna be resetting people's shit all the way and you're gonna be able to go in for a second time um but that's why i would say and also ocean wave which also is the only way that you're gonna ever be able to lower the cooldown of her abilities is with ocean um this that's definitely the set you should you should run because 35 percent chance of reducing all ability cooldowns and the only and if as you guys see right here for r6 oops sorry my bad for r6 it says that this cooldown of Sirius's ward, which is skill two, is not affected by any ability. So what I'm assuming is they mean ability by meaning like a skill, and they're not talking about like equipment, because they would say ability slash equipment. I'm assuming that's why. That's my it obviously it doesn't say equipment. It just says ability. So I'm assuming I haven't tested it. This hasn't been tested. I should probably have tested it before I made this. Obviously, I should have probably. But I'm assuming it works. Actually. Let's go test it. We might as well. Just so you guys, just cause so I don't have people coming into the freaking what's called videos and being like, oh god, that shit don't work. This it it doesn't get cooled down. Um, actually, I can't even really properly test it because maybe it does. That doesn't go into effect until I actually get, actually you get to R6. So I'll wait to R6 when I do a showcase because I don't want to showcase her at R4 or R anything other than R6 because she's just she's very bland. She's not she's not very like great. At anything other than r6 because r6 kind of takes her kit to a different level so i'm not going to test it i'm not going to test it right now but let's go back to her real quick let's go back so i can show you the subs that you should have on her um because like i said um it's very it's very simple to build her personally in my opinion um we're gonna go to her skills and look she has a speed down on her s1 um which is very good for you know slowing down targets so i would definitely put accuracy as a sub um, on her because that's gonna be very good. You also want to have speed as a sub on her and you also want to have What else? Sorry, I was I kind of threw some stuff on her <laughs> But you also want to have probably defense bonus and HP bonus You don't really care too much about attack personally on her because her multipliers aren't that good she, Like none of her multipliers go over a hundred <laughs> and She only has two attacking things. She only has two things that attack and one just goes to a hundred I guess you could say but she's more of a support she's more of like a like a what how would, I, how would they call it like an alice uday is more of an alice type character so i wouldn't worry about any att anything attack related i would just worry about accuracy defense speed hp that's all that's all you really need on there definitely speed because as you see mine has 143 speed on speed on it right now but that's because my subs are kind of nice i have 14 speed on that 16 on that 12 on that without a boost i don't even think i have any boost do i have any boost no i don't i gotta go farm those at some at some point in time when i actually have freaking stamina so i'm running out of stamina um 15 on that 19 on that five on that speed is the thing you definitely should prioritize so she can cycle because my what i'm thinking is that if, if ocean works the way it should work which by 35 percent chance of reducing the cooldown of abilities um then this will be a two turn cooldown that also gives everyone a basically resets everyone's skills so every time you use it it could possibly go on a two turn cooldown which is 
crazy to think about same thing with this this could go on a three turn cooldown which is crazy when you think about it um as well as this could go i mean this is obviously not it has no cooldown because it's your s1 but yeah these two have very low cooldowns to begin with but this could even make them even better um in my opinion so yeah yeah that's why i would say make sure she's on ocean um it will help you a lot it would help you a lot um i think she's gonna be very dope at r6 I'm, I'm excited to test her out in like a three or four days you guys will definitely have another video on that where, where i'm testing her out to see how good she is um really i'm just speculating that she's gonna be one of the more hype characters um but yeah um that's basically how you build her guys um i hope i wasn't going on too much um like i said i'm not gonna test her out with the ocean waves um until i get her at r6 because it doesn't say anything obviously about me being able to this being on a won't be affected by abilities for this so yeah but it just says it for when it's r6 i'm assuming ocean wave works but yeah that's just a that's just a what's it called what's the word disclaimer for all you people out there who may comment and be like falco that shit don't work i don't know yet haven't tested it but this is what i think will work and if it does work it's gonna be pretty broken just that's, that's just what i'm saying but yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment down below subscribe hit the notification bell check out the discord check out the streams um i stream friday through sunday at 6 p.m pacific on twitch come by say hi vibe out with your boy um but other than that love you guys and i'll see you in the next video peace out someone like you and all you know and how you speak Oh uh -huh.